This is how the story began. Early 1988, a Beit Sahur drove to an Israeli kibbutz. An Israeli peacenik there agreed to sell my town the cows. There was Rivka. She was a peacenik. Ruth, the herd's leader and the oldest. She didn't like Palestinians. They don't want to work. Palestinians would prefer to riot than work. Too true. Lola, a sexy cow and a Madonna fan. And then there was Goldie, the youngest and the shit disturber. Maybe if you listen to them, you achieve some... Um, um, enlightenment. Uh, yeah, maybe. We are Palestinians. We deserve to have a home. We deserve to have our land. We deserve to have our freedom. And we deserve to have cows. Nothing seemed to be impossible for Palestinians at that time. Not even milking a cow. For me as a teenager at that time, it was about the fun and about, you know, proving that we can stop Israeli uh, cars and vans and products coming into our uh, city. Israel was very worried that the example of Beit Sahur could spread out and then they will be facing a, you know, uh, a massive civil disobedience around the country where they, you know, can lose their ability to control the life of Palestinians. And, you know, occupation without control doesn't work. The military governor came one day with his soldiers to the farm. When I asked him why, he said, and I quote the exact words, these cows are dangerous for the security of the state of Israel. I told him, I can't understand how can 18 cows be dangerous for the security of the state of Israel. Maybe you think that cows are all the same and they are stupid and lazy and just grazing all day with nothing going in their heads. Maybe you should think again. 